The Rig Rat. Welcome to another edition of The Rig Rat. Um, and this edition is unboxing the Casio Privia PX-360. You may be asking yourself, didn't you unbox this keyboard? Not this keyboard, but the same model. Why am I unboxing another one? Because I really believe in this keyboard so much that this is my second one. Hey, there may be a third, fourth, fifth. Once again, this is from Sweetwater. And I'm hopefully on camera, crouching down like this. As I've said before, unboxing videos can only be done in one take. Anything could happen. A bird, I'm outside. A squirrel. Anything could happen. It's exciting. Ever so gently feeling the blade on the tape. Oh, look at that. Uh-oh. This is the this is the money shot. Look what's going on here. This is the money shot. I I picked the right end because I'm a, a professional unboxer. Don't do this at home. Okay. Let's see. Now it's gonna fall. See? Anything can happen. All right, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, 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 look at all that stuff. That's a Sweetwater, Sweetwater Pro Gear. Oh, so many other things you could purchase and then unbox. Oh, oh, oh. oh. so that's nice to have, isn't it? Uh, what else fell out? A uh, thank you. You're welcome, sweet water. A special thank you. I'm gonna put that there. Oh, a sweet water decal. I'm gonna put that someplace very special. Oh, look at this. Oh, the bubble wrap. Well. Take it out slowly. Oh, look what's here. Oh, it says our sweet way of saying thank you. A sweet water packet of candy. In the can, in the packet is a atomic fireball, a bit of honey, laffy taffy. This one particular sour apple. I know they change it up different flavors. Um, a peppermint. Uh, which you, you know, it's a very nice refreshing. Maybe that's the way to finish off the candy with a nice peppermint and a Tootsie Roll. Now that's excellent because that's chocolate. And I love chocolate. But I, it's a little rough, a little high in the corn uh, syrup uh, arena for me. It would, I would crash. If I ate, you know, a lot of this, uh, you know, if you know, if I'm not eating protein with it, I'm gonna crash like a ton of bricks. Boy, I don't want to be on camera. I'm so fat. My hair. I wish the dye would have been a little darker. But 
Let's continue. Can we? Okay. Mm. Oh man, look at that bubble wrap. Ooh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. Man, look at that. Wow, wow. Now, so here we go. I'm gonna have to do this. Oh, more bubble wrap. Now that's some quality bubble wrap. When you hold it in your hands, you can feel it's nice and that's just some good bubble wrap there. Wow, there's more bubble wrap. Ugh. I can't pull it out. So here is what uh, here is what's inside another box, and um, I'll try to angle it your way. Ooh. Oh no! What happened? I can't get a grip. <laughs> I think I picked a bad angle. <laughs> oh well. See, anything can happen. Hang in there, folks. What I could do is tilt this box like so. <sighs> oh, it's hard work. Beautiful bubble wrap. Okay. All right. You still there? Me? I do. I do like a good Z stand, but you may know I enjoy a baby grand piano shell, right? <laughs> uh, that's part of my rig, the rig rat. Now this part here says do not open this side. So. We, we break the rules. It says it right here. See? It says, do not open this side. So, here it goes. You can see? opening I'm not gonna do it but I just a little bit just to drive you crazy so this is what the bottom looks like oh it's seems like a very quality cardboard kind of that smooth finish on the outside and uh, Here's what one side looks like. See, they they print in a beautiful blue Casio Privia. And over here, it says the, uh, the name. Now, currently, it's only made in black, and that's what the BK stands for. It's uh, the black version. And uh, 
I was kind of interested in, in white if they had it because I'm thinking about, I don't have it yet, a white baby grand piano shell. Okay. Beautiful box. It's just a beautiful box. Now let's see. I'm gonna turn it around and let you see the other side of this amazing packaging. Ooh. Here they have the sticker which says three year limited warranty. Make sure to register it online. because you won't get a full warranty unless you register this keyboard. Online, I believe, is the only way. It's just beautiful. I don't, there's a little dent here, a little scratch there. Now, I feel, I'm not sure, maybe I want it to face you because it's all about you. Here we go. I'm gonna cut this end. Oh, careful. Careful now. Is that all the way through? Is that, if we give it another go, being a professional unboxer that I am. Oh, don't. Don't just push the knife in all the way. No, you never know. Okay, okay, we're getting, how, what, what percentage are we done here with cutting stuff open? Oh, yes, and there it is, there it is. The main part now is cut open. We can now open this part. Here it goes. It says, do not step on in this area. <gasps> oh, I see a keyboard in here. Oh, let's see if we can bend that nicely for you. Okay, I'm so sweaty. By the way, we're taping this. That's not the, recording this, that's, that's the, uh, terminology on the 22nd of September 2020 Wow it's just beautiful okay okay don't rush this thing one thing at a time think what has to be done <gasps> this is coming out look at this mm. really really protective I bet you if I do that to this piece it also will come out it did uh, we're getting closer and closer but in order to take this off properly there's a piece of tape. We're gonna have to lift up this uh, one end. What I'm gonna do, <laughs> for the first time in unboxing history, I'm gonna just gonna pick up the keyboard. Maybe the box will fall. But I don't wanna get the box out of the recording already. Oh, won't come out. See, it's hard to do things on your own. It's so hard to do things on your own. Okay. We're going to balance it like that. Now, we're going to look at uh, this. This comes out. And this is the manual. Oh, look at that, look at that. Ooh, that manual. 
That manual has been protected. Look at that. Wow. Man. Now let's see if I can open this manual here. Now, whoever put this together, whoever did the packaging, they got it right. You got to hand it to them. The Privia PX360M manual. Well, there's the manual. Here is like something else, either in an addition or a quick start. Not sure. More information. Something... Uh, an afterthought it looks like because there's more information that customers should know and then uh, a warranty card so there's that now what else do I see in the box ah, a music stand it's plastic it seems to be quite long and would handle a multiple pages of uh, sheet music, which I don't read, but I'd like to learn. What else is in here? Styrofoam. And one last piece of styrofoam. Boy, they really protected things. All right, I'm gonna lift up this end. As I can see, the power is here. Oh, ever so gently, ever so gently. Yes, oh, 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 oh. the power. Yep. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's the power. And on the same end that they put the power, they have engineered it to be in the uh, styrofoam. Ooh. I love you, power. There is... It's the Casio foot switch. Now, what I, all, what I have done many a time, and I had to do it today with the other keyboard. I mean, I had a, I use a Roland sustain pedal and it works wonderful, but that's for like gigging. I want one in the house. So what I do is I take one of these and I mount it to a piece of wood. I unscrew the screws on the side, take this top off, and then there's holes in the bottom, and I screw this onto a piece of wood. And then put the uh, top back on, screw the screws back in. You know, when your foot's up, up, you know, and you're pressing on the sustain pedal, if you, if you have a regular sustain pedal, your ankle's got to go up higher. Maybe, you know, these aren't so bad to have, you know, just uh, these aren't so bad. Half damper pedaling, you can't do the, with this. And I don't even exactly know what that is. Resting your foot on the damper pedal, sustain pedal, I call it. I don't know. Okay, we're getting close here. I'm gonna take this other piece of styrofoam off the end. And this styrofoam has kept this keyboard secure and safe until it gotten into my hands. Here it goes. So, I'm gonna get rid of the box. The unboxing video. That's what it's all about is the box. Goodbye, box. And now, let's remove this 
thin foam off, which, you know, it's great. They cover their uh, legal posteriors as saying that plastic bags can be dangerous. You know, this isn't quite a bag, but they covered that. Oh my God, it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it beautiful? Sure is. Oh gosh, oh my goodness. Wow, we look at that. Look at that, isn't that great? Wow. I'm gonna get the uh, camera at a better angle. I don't have to be in the shot anymore. Wow. Yes. Moving the camera onto the keyboard. Making sure the whole keyboard is in the shot. not easy to do. Composition. It's all about composition. Let me tell you. Oh yeah. Maybe. Is that it? That looked good. That looks good. From what I can tell, that looks good. All right. It's it's beautiful. Do I deserve such a nice keyboard? No, you know that. And uh, I worked hard for the dough to buy it. Remove, removing this plastic. Oh my gosh. It is really on there it's good. Look at that. They use masking tape. No, it's even better than masking tape. Just removing it. Oh, it's beautiful. A thing of beauty. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Wow. Wow, look at that. So that's gone. And there's one more piece. This, now this seems to be like masking tape. Oh, uh, no, it's higher quality than masking tape. And that really, look how it, look if I, if I just leave the tape on, all the keys are moving up and down. I could, I, I could make one full chord by pressing on that. Isn't that something? I recommend taking the tape off. Obviously. And here we go. Am I going to step in front of the camera? I'll try not to. And there we go. With the removal of this tape, it is now playable. And there we go. That's it. The Casio Privia PX360M. I'm gonna take the take the camera off of this wonderful uh, tripod type thing. Oops. Wow, it's just beautiful. There's so many lovely uh, demonstrations of the sounds uh, recorded much better than I could provide, probably. Other people have done wonderful reviews. The Privia PX560 is quite similar. Did I have the money for it? No. Eh, I felt that this was all I needed, all I deserved. Let's take a look at the back. 
you know we got a, a pitch bend wheel wow I can I can be Chick Korea now with a pitch bend wheel. Wow, look at that! Isn't that wonderful? Now I think I've mentioned to you before I've had a, a quarter inch. Uh, I mean, uh, quarter inch jack sticking out of here. Somebody walks up and cracks it off. So some people have said that these babies aren't rock solid. These feel more solid than uh, previous Privia things. Here's the audio volume knob. So you gotta be careful. If I move that, you can see that no, they're pretty rock solid. They really are. Okay. In, out, through. And there's the speakers. Rear facing speakers. Plus this speaker facing the player and this speaker. Are they separate speakers? Are they ports? I don't know if I'll ever investigate that, but it's wonderful. It's nice. And what can I say? That's about all I should say. I've gone on too long and I apologize to those who feel I have, but some people, if they're gonna buy this, would like to investigate it and get to know all about it. Thank you for watching this edition of The Rig Rat. Thanks for watching.